Let's talk about smurfs in Illuvium. What are smurfs? Are they allowed? How many can you have? Are they eligible for rewards? Can I get three times the rewards if I have rank 1, rank 2, rank 3 with three accounts? Do I get all those rewards? Uh, let's talk about all the details about it. I'm also going to tell you what Illuvium is doing right now so you can stay inside the rule set of the Illuvium Ranked Arena PvP Leaderboard Rewards. All right, let's jump in. First up, we got the message from Kieran. It's not an announcement or something, but per blog post that they put out, your main account counts for the rewards, not the highest account. Meaning if you have a Smurf account on rank one, but your main account is sitting on rank two or at rank 10, you would get the rewards for rank 10 and not for a Smurf account on rank one. This has a few reasons and the way it's enforced is by the name giving. So your main account, for example, for me would be the first name would be Illumination and then Illumination 1, 2, 3 or 5 would all be Smurf accounts and would pretty much be useless for the reward system. You can still use them, for example, to warm up for the games or to test out new meta decks or whatever it is, but you cannot really use them anymore anymore to get any rewards it cannot be your fail safe second account sitting below the main account so that is one way they want to go down i think this sounded more like a long-term goal because how nick is saying it right now it's not implemented yet and they will get the leaderboards with the data export of the 3000 top ranked accounts then they remove the ineligible accounts with uh, who doesn't have the 50 matches that you need per week etc then we're gonna remove smurf accounts because it's like not it's called pass 2 illumination 2 that's why we remove them from the leaderboards as well and then they're gonna check it manually as well and then the top 1000 are eligible they will look for party illumination 1 with a connected layer 2 wallet that meets eligibility criteria the 15 games and whatsoever so style is like, uh, wait, so I can create an account right now, name it style one, link a wallet and it becomes my main. Yes, you can. Here inside we couldn't. And then Nick is saying, create an account, connect a wallet, play the games, make it clear which account is your main, end of story. So it sounds like right now we can just play whatever we want to and at the end of the snapshot, when the snapshot is taken, you have to have it uh, clearly named as your main account but Kieran makes it sound like he doesn't want that and the reason is pretty obvious for it and it's a good reason you could have like 10 smurf accounts all sitting at whatever 1800 or whatever rating it is you can get easily to and then every week you have to do 15 games right so you could try to play the RNG get lucky or just find the meta team for two hours and just get in 15 easy wins and secure your win and if there is no limitations to that you can have 10 20 smurf accounts and then you have 10 20 tries of getting those 15 cheese games in and of being lucky this week and yeah you just kill the the luck aspect which is a bad aspect already with a lot of effort to make yourself have more chances the downsides to this is and the downsides of smurfs not being eligible in the latter means i'm not playing right now i'm sitting on my first account that one i want to just save for the rewards it's rank six right now so i don't want to fall below rank 10 and i don't think in the current meta it's easy to climb up another 100 elo for rank three so i'm just sitting there and usually now i would go my smurf race my main account with my smurf and then once my main account takes over my main uh, my smurf account takes over my main account by one two games i would relog to my main account and then i could safely play ladder because i already have another account sitting higher up in the rating and i don't need to care so much about this and it makes it easier to climb it makes it less time consuming because you could for example imagine this you have two accounts you log in both sitting at 1900 you log in you play five games on your smurf you win five games you're like hell yeah i'm ready I, I will win everything you lock to the main account boom you get unlucky right now with the rng that's easily possible and you lose two games for example and then suddenly because you lost two games versus lower rated players you drop 16 uh, 60 points and now instead of having your smurf account sitting safely up there you need to get 60 points back which could take like i don't know five hours or whatever it is you will get it back the better players will still be up in the leaderboards 
It's gonna take a lot more time, which is not a big problem, right? If you want to be the best player, all right, just invest the most time. That's okay. I think that the biggest problem is the daily active users. So because a lot of people will think like me, oh, I'm at a good rating, I want to sit there. They're not going to play much Smurf account anymore if it doesn't matter for ladder. And also because you don't play those Smurf accounts seriously anymore, you don't play them to really get up in the leaderboards. They will drop a lot in rating. And then we have even more the problem that people are complaining about right now, where higher rated players are meeting very low rated players, beginner players, uh, because they're just trolling around with their accounts tanking them and then they're still gonna have some try hard games where they really want to win and if there's a lot of agency a lot of skill expression they're gonna smash their opponent because they uh, were definitely weaker skill wise and it feels really bad for them if two 1500 people go against each other and one is just dominating this problem will always be there people have always created smurf accounts to be in lower rankings but there's different reasons for it too. For example, you're hard stuck in an ELO and you have 2,000 games played. 1,000 wins, 1,000 lose. So you have a 50-50 win red loss rent rate. And now you think you have improved, you watch some guides, you think, oh, right now I'm at 60-40. I think I can win 6 out of 10 games. To get to that 60% win chains, you need to win 200 games to make it 1,200, 2,000. Maybe my math is off, but you get where I'm going with this, right? But if you create a new account, you play 10 games, you have 6-4, 60% win chance. So yeah, if you're hard stuck in an ELO, it's really nice to have a smurf uh, to high rated players to save their rating. For the daily active users, it's definitely going to be nice. And yeah, you need smurf account anyway. Like that was never to discussion that we don't have smurf accounts. That's just not in line with the big names in gaming. In online gaming like League of Legends, TFT, Hearthstone, Blizzard, whatever it is. Uh, Smurf accounts are a common practice in gaming. But we have a little special situation with the leaderboards, right? So we have to make sure that nobody's get getting rewarded twice. And also with the 15 games and the low player base, like there could be just three people having five Smurfs in the top 15. So yeah, there's a lot of upsides and downsides. I wouldn't want to be in their position to decide this. And we're going to see what they're going to do. I prefer to have your highest ranked account matter because then I would be gaming right now. It's also good. It gets me away from my addiction and I can do videos and, and <laughs> think about stuff or whatever. But I think, yeah, the daily active users are going to drop. That's not going to be good for us right now as they are pretty low in beta already. And also, I think this system will correct itself once we get a bigger player base. It's not going to be such a problem anymore with the RNG in 15 games and whatever. And I read I have a future-proof system right now that also lets me climb easy and play more games safely and not so stressed out. If I lose this, oh, I need to win three more games because I'm going to lose so many points. It's the problem with RNG, right? If there wasn't so much RNG like there is right now in the Frost Behemoth and it's going to get better. But yeah, if we have this, then it's, it's really unsatisfying to play ladder high ranked because yeah, if you can lose to a 1500 guy as a 2000 guy, it's not gonna be fun <laughs> if you lose to to coin flip to the dodge seed or the crit seed or whatever it is people got more rng there you have it sucks but yeah we're gonna get a hotfix soon until then i'm not playing i would be playing if my smurf was eligible for ranked rewards please make a decision which way we go so we have a clear um announcement about it otherwise it's it's a weird situation we're right in now and not knowing if Kieran's or Nick's word is true. I personally think Nick is now right and Kieran will be right in the long run. Let me know if that's a good thing. In the link down in the description, we get a sponsor of today's video. It's me. There's my creator code for Illuvium. Please click it once a week to support the channel so I can make more videos for you. And yeah, that's it. Click it and click around. You can download the game. You can register. Uh, all the metrics help. So uh, just click the link once a week. Engage a little bit. That's it. Thank you so much. And I see you on the next one. And I see you on the ladder. Probably on my Smurf sitting at 1400 because I'm just playing, uh, I don't know, what's really weak right now. Seven fighters. <laughs> Have a good one. Peace.